Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the spooky season. In this video, I prepared for you a prototype in Figma inspired in the game Flappy Bird. Don't be scared. <laughs> in the description, you have the link to play the game and also the access to the work file to edit for yourself. So everything started with the creation of some illustrations in Adobe Illustrator and play around with the new text to vector feature to create some cool spooky houses. Then I've done some manual adjustments to find the result I wanted. I was thinking in creating some levels but after a few attempts in Figma I noticed that all these illustrations and levels were making the prototype very slow so I needed to simplify the game. It was sad because as you may see I tried to create some storyboard along the way to make the game even funnier. After that I create the main character, our Flappy Pumpkin. Then I've designed the start screen to onboard the player and give some instructions how to play and also an end screen to play again with some spooky fonts. So now let's move to Figma and see what we got here before the prototype. Here on top we have the start, game and end screen. The start and end are already finished, I've made them in Illustrator and let the game screen empty to show you how to prototype this game. Here we have the main character, the pumpkin. I've made it as a component, then duplicate the instance to create a set of variants because the pumpkin will move vertically to avoid ghosts and witches in the game. Down below, the components that will be the obstacles for us to avoid. And next we have the background and obstacles component set. So we want movement and for that we need to create more variants. So right click to make a frame selection and here on top let's make it 375 and set clip content so that the rest of the image is invisible. The second variables should be aligned to center because we want to make the movement slower. You will see afterwards why we need these three variants. Now we need to apply the same settings to the obstacles, so I created two more variants of this main one and we are ready to prototype. In our pumpkin, we want that at every moment it will go down, so after delay of 1 millisecond it will smart animate with linear style and 100 milliseconds to the next pumpkin and so on and so on. But if I click, I want her to go back up again so let's set to on click, smart animate linear to 100 milliseconds also, but in this case the trigger is on click. Then I move the instances inside our main game screen so that we can continue to prototype the rest. Now let's set on click or tap in the start screen to move instantly to the game screen. Be sure to check reset component state so that the prototype restarts from the beginning. And the end screen we want that at the end the player can click play again and go back to the beginning. Ok, now we need to add movement to, to the background objects, so just apply after delay 1 millisecond to smart animate linear and 10,000 milliseconds, which is the maximum length Figma allows. And that's why we need the three variants in each background object, so that we can increase in another way the, these 10,000 milliseconds. Then the last variant of the background should have a link to the end screen instantly, so it appears the game over screen to test. Actually, this is a game you cannot win. <laughs> and okay, so now let's test the prototype and play some spooky music.
And there you go, I hope you enjoyed this video, I had a lot of fun doing it, you may find in my Figma community the link to this file and play around yourself. There's a lot more we can try to do, I wanted to try variables on this but I'll add for a future video to make that. Please leave your like and subscription here in the channel and catch you guys up in the next video. Thank you and have a great spooky season. <laughs>